This is Dalin from Javelin, experimenting with the new time-saving tools in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Today I'm extremely curious to find out how much liquid I can pour in this bottle, in this baby bottle. Later on this week, we'll try something much more complicated. We'll try to determine the half-full level or maybe even the quarter-full level for this baby bottle. Things that were very hard to achieve in SOLIDWORKS 2012 and prior. In order to cap this bottle, I just need to use a solid body a surface or a plane. So I can, let's use a plane in this case. Zero offset. And I will call the new intersect tool available in SOLIDWORKS 2013. By selecting the plane and selecting the body of uh, the bottle, I am creating an enclosed volume. So by intersecting the two, I'm going to keep both regions, the liquid and the bottle, without merging the result. So what I have right now, I have the liquid body and I have the bottle body. You can see when you do a section that I'm achieving exactly what I was looking for. So I can ask what is the mass property of the liquid and this is the volume. So about 12 cubic inches of liquid I can pour in, in this bottle. Do you remember how hard it was to do the same thing in SOLIDWORKS 2012 and prior? So allow me just to suppress these two features and there are different ways to achieve the same result. One would have been by selecting all the faces from this, or the inner faces of the bottle and using surfacing tool like offset zero or neat, you're gonna knit all of them into one sol uh, surface body. Uh, again, you're gonna cap the top with another uh, surface, knit them together and turn the, turn the result resulted surface into a solid body. Uh, the other thing you could have done, and let's try that, you can use the combine command in a multi-body environment. So allow me just to cap again the, the bottle with a simple extrude, maybe a quarter of an inch, without merging the new body to the bottle. And I'm gonna also going to create another solid that is bigger than everything else, from which I'm going to subtract the two bodies. So let's say this is going to be probably about 4 inches. This dimension is not that important as long as it's bigger than everything I have. Make this to equal. And I'm going to extrude past the end of the body without merging the results. In order to subtract the other two bodies from this one, I'm, I need first to make a copy of the bottle because otherwise this is going to be consumed by the combined, uh, combined command. So let's copy this body in place and start the combine subtract. I'm going to subtract from the box the lead and the copy of the bottle and I'm going to keep only the inside which is the liquid. So as you can see what I can do in one minute with only two features in SOLIDWORKS 2013, I needed to probably double that time and lots of sketches, uh, lots of features in SOLIDWORKS 2012.